With each arduous scrape, stripping away layers of paint, clink of hammer and chisel, the ravages of time and hasty, inexpert repairs are revealed on a Victorian lady. It's kind of a, you know, boat builder's dream and archaeological dig at the same time. Gabriela Island shipwright Tony Grove has been commissioned by the Maritime Museum of Victoria to recondition an historic wooden pleasure yacht, the Dorothy, a project that will take time, knowledge and money. Originally there was, two, there was a debate whether to have her just uh, restored and put her back in the water or do a proper restoration and find out what her ailments are and what's going on with her. Um, the big one is, is her age. She's an old boat. Um, and so when I opened it up and I started looking around and finding the things that were loose and what was going on, kind of determined that her age is just catching up right now. Built out of red cedar and oak in a Victoria shipyard in 1897, the Dorothy is believed to be Canada's oldest registered sailing vessel. I guess one of the main things is, of her age, she is in incredibly good shape. So that's one thing right off the bat that's really amazing. This is, a, this is an example of the bad patch. Of the restoration is unlike any boat building project this, this Tony has undertaken. Um, She's probably about 80% uh, original and then a lot of the um, planking and fastings and stuff have just come so a little bit loose. An of a scarf that but what I did find is different too in the building the methods the is the planks are instead of butted together they're scarfed together which is an unusual way of doing it. This is where the water line is. And it's over four feet hanging out over top of the water, which is an enormous amount, really. The fantail that's on this boat is unique to that era. Um, you don't see that in modern day building at all in design. The restoration of Dorothy is also the focus of an indie documentary film between Wood and Water, directed by Toby Elliott. I was intrigued by the romance of Dorothy right from the beginning when I found out that there's uh, these incredible original documents from the turn of the century that give us some real stories and, and little maps and even illustrations of, um, of little inlets where uh, Major Langley sailed with his family. I was like, wow, that's such a connection to our past. This has to be documented. The Dorothy had been going up to the couch in regatta, held on Dominion Day for many years, and was successful in winning the long distance sailing race lifting the challenge cup and taking away a small souvenir cup. It was owing more to luck than seamanship as most of the leading yachts mistook the course and headed away up Saanich Inlet. I feel quite privileged, I mean, you know, that the museum chose me and that it's so critical that this, that this is preserved and, and maintained and left for the future people to see and say, wow, this is a boat, oldest functioning sailboat in Canada is pretty, uh, pretty major. The estimated cost to put Dorothy back in the water in time for the 2014 Classic Boat Festival in Victoria, about $100,000, is still being raised by the Maritime Museum. And there was also a campaign to fund the documentary. From Gabriela Island, I'm Annette Lucas.